everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's Andrea, and today I have a long overdue update for musical panning. This is a project that was created by Mari, her channel is Patriot Makeup. She hasn't posted in quite a while, but I will still leave her link down below just so you can watch some of her videos if you would like. I hope she comes back at some point because she is such an amazing person and I love her to pieces, but I get it. It's hard <laughs> to have a job and a family and a YouTube channel. So that being said, I hope she comes back at some point, but she created this project because she loves music. So she picked three songs from each decade, starting with the 1940s and continuing on up to the 2020s. And she created prompts to go with those songs. Now she did have another extra like bonus kind of rule that if you wanted to once you finished her prompts you could roll in your own songs. I was going to do that but seeing as how I'm still working on quite a few quite a few products in this project and we're already in September I probably won't be rolling my own songs into this at this point but you never know maybe I will probably not but it's been a while since I've updated. I think my last update was in June. So, and honestly, even for, what, three months, I don't have as much progress as I would like, but I'm still rolling some stuff out. So that's, that's good. So starting with, let's see, starting with the 1950s, the song is Sleepwalk by Santo and Johnny. It's in, oh, I don't have it down here. I gotta read it. Because I never prepared, I had to go get one of the items that I forgot. So the first prompt that I was still working on is from the 1950s and the song is Sleepwalk by Santo and Johnny. That's an item you put on before bed. I had this herbivore prism 12% AHA plus 3% BHA Exfoliating Glow Serum. I got this in my last lucky bag and it's a nice serum, but I didn't, there was no way I wanted to try to finish it. So I brought it in for 30 uses. I didn't mark it, but this top mark was actually after I believe eight uses and I have used it the 22 more times I needed to and this is what it looks like now. So if I could be a little more consistent with it, I don't think I would have finished it this year, but I do want to try to finish it because this is a, this is a pretty pricey serum and it would be nice to, you know, have that total into my empties, even though I'm not doing the 5k thing, but still I like to have, I like to have a higher number for my empties in the previous year. So if I could finish this, that would be great. Anyway, that's not, that doesn't have anything to do with this project. I'm just babbling as usual but that goal has been met so that song is rolling out then for the 1960s sitting on the dock of the bay by Otis Redding an item that makes you feel chill I had a small soap sample from the company soap distillery and the scent beer and cig so thought people use beer and cigarettes to chill out so I'll bring that in it, it was a little soap sample I've I finished that quite easily so that one is finished. That's been finished for a long time. I just haven't updated the project. So then for the 1970s, September, Earth, Wind, and Fire, an item that makes you feel good. And I picked my Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle lipstick in Tiger Teeny because this bright orange shade just makes me feel good. I am not wearing it today, actually. I sh should have put it on, but I didn't, but... This is what it looks like. It's super, super orange. I love it. My goal is to use this 10 times and I've only used it five. So this will be staying in. I'm just working on, as you probably know, because I mention it in every single video, I'm just working on way too many lip products right now. Let's put that back. I don't know what's going on with my hair. I guess that's better. I don't know. Then for the 1980s, Pride and Joy by Stevie Ray Vaughan, a product you're proud of. This product is, it's just a sample blush from the bomb in, in full swing, but it was the first blush I ever hit pan on and it took me forever to hit pan on it too. 
So I wanted to bring it into this project to finish. I mean, I'm getting there. There's really not that much left, but I've only used it six times in the past three months for a total of 17. So I gotta get cracking because I really would, even though it's mini, like every year since I started my YouTube channel, I've managed to finish a blush and I have, have I finished, did I finish the Maybelline cream one this year? I don't know if I finished that Maybelline cream blush stick this year or not, but I would really like to have a powder blush finished, even though it's a tiny baby and I would like to have it out of my collection. So I'm going to, I'm going to do it. This will be gone by the end of the project or by the end of the year, because the project technically ends, I think January 3rd of next year. But anyway, I still have some work to do on that one. Then the next song is from the 1990s. It was Friday I'm in Love by The Cure, an item you have a love-hate relationship with. And for me, that is liquid eyeshadows because they're so beautiful, but I just, I struggle with wearing them. So I have this Eloise Pure Gold Liquid Eyeshadow. I only had it in for 10 times. As of the last update, I had used it six. And I have finally used it 10 times, the last time of which is today. So I have it in the outer, like I have technically, I guess, a halo eye. So I have it in the outer and in the inner part of my eye today. But it's beautiful. I just, I just don't think to use my liquid shadows. And I really should. But this goal has been met, so this one is also rolling out. For the 2000s, Be Yourself by Audio Slave, an item that makes you look or feel natural. That is concealer for me. And I have this Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour. This is the shade C6. And I want to finish this. I've used this a total of 50 times since I rolled it into the project and I haven't taken the stopper out yet, but I'm going to have to soon. Like you can, can you see all the windowing down there? And if you look, I don't know how well you'll see if I do this, but this is a, actually a really nice concealer. I've been enjoying it, although it is a little light for me right now, but like I always say, I do my concealer first and then put my foundation on. So the fact that this is a little too light doesn't really matter as much. It's a really nice concealer. It's And it's fairly cheap. I'm not, I mean, it's revolution. I don't really remember off the top of my head. I want to say like somewhere between six and ten dollars. But if it's going to go that fast, I don't know that I would repurchase it. But this was also sitting in my collection for quite a while so I don't know if some of the product just kind of like dried out or whatever but I don't think this will be done by next update but maybe in two months I think this might be done because this is the concealer that I have started to use this every day just because it'd be nice to finish not quite there yet though by the next update if I haven't finished it I will definitely have taken the stopper out at that point Then for the 2010s, Heathens by 21 Pilots, an item that makes you feel dangerous. I have my Too Faced liquid glitter eyeshadow in the shade Licorice because a like glittery black eyeshadow will make anyone feel dangerous. My goal is 10 uses and I am up to four. <laughs> yeah, four uses in three months. Can you see my dilemma here with these liquid eyeshadows? I am wearing it it counts because I'm wearing it. It's not super obvious, but I'm wearing it as like the tiniest little eyeliner smudge today. It There's nothing wrong with this. It hasn't dried out and it works fine, especially as an eyeliner, which is what I usually use it as. I just don't reach for it. So I got six more uses to go on that one. Oops. Oh, I did, I did miss one. Miss. I just had problems. Okay, going back to the 1960s, we're going to bounce. People are strange by the doors. A strange product. And for that, I have this Revolution Glass Skin Primer with for the ultimate dewy finish. It's something like this. I don't really know the best way to hold it so you can actually see. But it is odd, to say the least. 
I think I showed you a swatch, like a kind of a swatch last time, but so you can see it's almost like a, a watery gel and it just leaves this like very, I don't even know. It's like greasy, but not greasy. I mean, can you, it just, my skin just kind of looks like I rubbed oil on it and then tried to wash the oil away, but didn't quite work out. I, I don't dislike it, but it's not my favorite either. I use this with my ColourPop no filter stick because that is pretty drying. So this is super hydrating, moisturizing, so they work well together. And I don't have a goal for this other than to use it until that foundation stick is gone and then I will roll it out of this project. So far, I've got 14 uses on it. And I mean, 14 uses made a pretty good, can you see? Not really. A pretty good dent in it. Once that ColourPop foundation stick is gone, I don't know what else I'm going to use it with. But maybe I'll try it with my Juvia's Place I Am Magic foundation because that's kind of dry for me. So we'll see. I don't know. But any, like, like I said, once that ColourPop foundation is gone, I'm going to roll that out of the project. Okay, jumping back to the last the last decade, which is the 2020s, and that was Pac-Man the Gorillas, an item you can't get enough of, and that is my Cleona Multichromes. I finally got one of the beautiful Cleona palettes, which I need to get another one because not everything fits in here, <laughs> and I have more that is not in here. But let's see. I'm trying to remember. I don't know. These are kind of in a hodgepodge now, but I I had 18 that I brought in for this project and I wanted to use each of them once. So I have finally used the last five and I'm not sure which is which. I know the last two that I've used is Keystone, which unfortunately I did not remember to take a photo of. Um, I'm not sure if I filmed a video with that look on either. I can't remember. But today I'm wearing the last shade, which is this one, which is Ripple. So that's the one that I have in like the middle of my eye. And these, all these Cleona shadows are just gorgeous. Even their round pans, which are, you know, more of a standard metallic shimmer finish. They're not really, there's a couple of like kind of duochrome ones, but they're not, you know, like the special multi-chrome shades, but even those are stunning. I just love these shadows so friggin' much, and I'm so happy that I had a chance, or I allowed myself the chance to use them all. So those are done. So that is everything that I was working on. So now we're gonna go into the things that I'm rolling in. So I had four items that are rolling out, so I'm gonna roll four in. And the first one I am rolling in is for the 1980s, Three Little Birds by Bob Marley, an item that makes you feel worry-free. And for that, I am, I actually had, I think I'm gonna, I had, oh my gosh, I cannot talk, I'm tongue-tied. I had a different item in for this. Your throat hurts? How come? Part of your body is connected to your throat? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to help mommy finish her video? Yeah. Okay, well, I'll put your iPad down for a minute then. Okay. Show everybody. Okay, so I I had these two items in for different prompts. I'm just going to switch them. So this is a product that, or an item that makes you feel worry-free. Mm. And I'm going to bring in this Hemp's Lotion in Apple Cinnamon Shortbread, and I'm Sure, we can all guess why I'm bringing this in. I just want to use this 10 times, though, because I'm, like, not the most consistent lotion user, and I have a, 
a different hemp lotion that I'm trying to finish, plus the like regular full size of the Boom Boom cream that I'm trying to finish in various projects. So I don't want to add another full size lotion on, but I'm going to use this 10 times. This is apple cinnamon shortbread. Do you want to smell it? Can you smell it? What does it smell like? That. It smells like that. Oh, it smells so good. So I want to use this 10 times. I would probably use that. I might use that one more as a hand cream as opposed to a body lotion just because I don't really have any any shower gels or scrubs or anything that I'm working on that would kind of pair with that well I don't know I don't want to like just ew what are you doing oh Maddie that's disgusting <laughs> and I don't want to like have clashing scents on so I might use that as a hand cream but 10 times please stop that's gross <laughs> then for the 19th, Maddie, please stop it. No. Yes, we have to do a swatch, and you can't do a swatch if you're all full of spit. Then for the 1990s, Something in the Way by Nirvana, an item that's a burden. Once again, all of my, all of my liquid shadows are burdens. But we can't do a swatch if we're well, full I don't of want you to get spit all over my makeup, that's why. Once again, that is my liquid eyeshadows, and this one by Stila in Perlina is actually, I mean, one is dried out. I'm going to have to reconstitute it, but there's not that much left in here. I don't know how well you'll actually be able to see down in there, but. Why does it say rainbow? Don't touch that. That's mommy's, but that's about where I'm at. Here, let's see if this will work because it's very dried out here. Hold your arm up. Let's, but this will be, I'm going to use this hopefully as an inner, that's pretty, huh? Hopefully as an inner corner shade so that I can pretty much use it every single day and that way hopefully I'll be able to use it up. But that's what I'm bringing in for that. <clears throat> okay. What, Raven? It's party in here today. Then for the 2000s, the song is... What, babe? I'm trying to pet. Okay, you want to get down and pet Raven? Then for the... Two oh, it's fine, honey. Then for the 2000s... The song is Crazy by Gnarls Barkley, an item that drives you crazy. Yeah. Candles drive me crazy because I love candles so much. And this one has kitties on it, which just, I'm a crazy cat lady. So this is perfect. This is in the scent Autumn Harvest. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. It doesn't have, does it have scent notes on it somewhere? Autumn Harvest. No, it doesn't. I really hate when candles don't do scent notes, but... I mean, it's very, like, cinnamony and spicy, kind of what you would expect from a fall candle. So I'm excited to burn this one. And then the last item that I am going to be rolling in is for the 2020s. The song is Skate by Anderson, Pack, Bruno Mars, and Silk Sonic, an item you would wear to the roller rink or while roller skating. When I think of roller rinks, I don't, I never, I didn't really go to the roller rink that much, but when I think of roller rinks, I guess I just have that like kind of 70s disco thought or image in my head. So I'm going to bring in another, I'm going to bring in a glitter that reminds me of a disco ball. This is from Davina. This is the shade Vulcan. Just like, oh, look at that. So let's give it a swatch. So that is what that looks like. Just like a holographic silver glitter. And I just want to use this one 10 times. I don't want to, I'm not going to try to pan this uh, glitter even. I'm just not going to do it. So that, oh my gosh. So that is my very late update for musical panning. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you are staying safe and sane and healthy, having a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.